When a leg of lamb is boned and then opened up, it's referred to as having been butterflied. Of course, you could grill it as it is, or you could take the opportunity to make it even more delicious by slathering it with a delectable preserved lemon and herb paste. Then you just need to roll it up and roast it just like I plan on doing. Preserved lemons, which are very essential to this particular recipe, are lemons that have been preserved in a salt lemon mixture for about 30 days. This is a preserved lemon. It's packed in a jar with salt. Lemons done like this have a silky texture and a very distinctive, unusual flavor. And they're very widely used in Moroccan cooking. The initial purpose of preserving lemons in salt and their own juice was to make lemons a winter fruit last all year long. Once you preserve the lemons, it is just the rind. This is the rind of one lemon. We're going to use this in our marinade. You can just cut it into smaller pieces and put into a food processor. About a half a cup of rosemary leaves. Seems like a lot, but not for such a big piece of lamb as we have here two cloves of garlic, and you can um, roughly cut these up just so that the food processor doesn't have to work so hard. And some leaves, these are um, beautiful mint leaves, a very nice accompaniment for lamb. You can again just coarsely cut these up and put these into the processor. And some salt, some pepper, and you can Just grind it up a little bit and process with about a third of a cup of olive oil. It's almost like making a pesto. Now the lamb is exactly as I received it from the butcher, beautifully prepared as a butterfly, but it really should be a little bit thinner. And you can do that yourself at home between two pieces of plastic wrap and use a meat tenderizer or a mallet. Don't use the prickly side, uh, that will tear through the plastic, but just use the smooth side and pound until it's pretty much all the same thickness so that it will cook nice and even. And you can spread half of this mixture on one side of the lamb and half on the other. A most really fragrant mix. You can fill every little nook and cranny, but just half on this side. There. Now fold your meat in half. We want to fit it into a shallow pan. And another bit all over this side. And this you can just lift up and slide into your pan. And you've made very little mess. Use the rest, that last quarter of your marinade on this side. This will overnight really flavor the lamb. That is perfect. Use your plastic to cover over the lamb and refrigerate at least eight hours, preferably overnight. So here's our gorgeous marinated big hunk of lamb. It looks really good. We're getting ready to roll it. Though the cut can be very pricey, this leg of lamb, it is very straightforward to prepare, even for the novice home cook, and it is one of the most popular lamb cuts uh, that we have. Now the lemon, we need just the peel. So I'm taking away that pulp. For this, it's very nice to see the strips of lemon in the meat. Cut the strips quite thinly so that um, they are easily eaten. A big chunk will be a little strong there. So that's your lemon peel. So now put your lamb on a board and spread the lemon peel all over the inside. This is going to be rolled up, so put this all evenly spaced on the inside. Lamb takes a lot of seasoning very nicely, and salt and pepper in the roasting process is very important. Oh, for all cuts of lamb. Now roll up narrow end to big end. Tucking in any little loose pieces. And here you are going to behave like a butcher. You are going to be tying this roast together 
with butcher's twine. It's slippery. Now cut a piece of string about six feet long. And this is cotton butcher's twine. Everybody has a different method for tying a roast. Slide your string under and tie into a strong knot. Butchers can do this so quickly. There. Okay, so now we are going to blanket stitch your roast. And take the string underneath. Just take the whole bunch of string like this and pull it through. It is the blanket stitch that is one of the first embroidery stitches you learn when you're learning embroidery. There, now you can go around this way under the whole roast and tie this to the other side. So you have a perfect roast, as nice as the butcher would do it. And now get this into your roasting pan, a parchment liner in the pan, a rack for the meat, and put this whole roast into a preheated 450 degree oven for 25 minutes, then add half a cup of water. Reduce the heat to 400 degrees and continue roasting 35 minutes or so. Let the lamb rest in the pan out of the oven for about 30 minutes before you carve it. Snip off your trussing strings. And I'd slice the lamb, oh, approximately between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick. And you can arrange as you wish on your platter. Garnish with wedges of fresh lemon. And there you have a really, really gorgeous platter.